Okay, alright. One feature that people may have missed in uh, V is that uh, you can do like basically cross platform uh, shell scripts. It's also a shell scripting language, right? Um, so let me go into it. Uh, where was it? It's in the documentation right here, right? If you scroll down, right? <clears throat> I, I went through all of these documentation and uh, videos, right? But you see down here by cross compilation, we'll do some of that later, but not not today, but that'll be a whole nother video. All right, but we got cross-platform shell scripts in V, okay? V can be used alternative, uh, as an alternative to write bash, uh, to write and deploy build scripts, okay? The advantage of using V is simply <clears throat> and, predictably, uh, and predictably of the language and cross-platform support. Uh, v scripts run on Unix-like systems as well as window and use the V shell uh, extension, VSH ex extension. It will make all functions in an OS module global. And here, then they have an example here, right? So let's let's get into some code, right? Another thing you can do, right? Uh, they have they have one example. Where did I put it? Right here. Uh, if you go, let me go back. If you go into the examples, let me just go from the beginning. Okay, if you go to the examples here, and where is it and a v shell script you got you have an example here right right so we'll, we'll just go through this uh, a little bit right now all right uh, enough talking all right okay so we'll put my terminal up all right and then we'll go into my code directory All right, we'll create a new, and we'll call this, uh, let's call this, uh, well, I don't know what to call this. Let's just call this uh, script. Script and VSH is the, uh, <clears throat> is the, the file extension, all right? So now let's go back over here to the example that we have, right? And here's where the magic happens. You have to put in this shebang. If you if you do any bash coding, I might I'm, I might do a series on bash, uh, well as Perl and stuff like that, right? But um, if you put this shebang in here, uh, this shebang shebang uh, user bin uh, v run, that'll that'll make the that'll when you when you make this script an executable, it'll make it uh, executable. But you have to put it to your directory but there's another there's a better way to do this right here right let me go into the documentation where was it put it over here okay okay it's better to do it with the environment variable so let's take this out here right take this line okay we'll put this in here Okay, so it'll it'll take V from the environment instead of uh, you having to put your path, because mine would end up being different. Let's see where I have V. So which V? So instead, I would have to put this line up in here in order to do it. But if you do it this way, it doesn't matter where V. As long as V is installed, and you can I have a tutorial on installing V. Okay, so I'm talking too much right here. All right, so you know we can just print. And we'll put hello world. We, you know, just do do the do the uh, first thing. I think I have to put this in a function. Let me see that. I don't know. I might not have to put this in a function. Try and try and live here. Hello world. Okay. So when you, all right. So when you uh, when you want to make a script executable on Linux, use the shema. That just means uh, change mode, right? Basically plus X to make it executable and then the name of the file you see uh, you can see down here that all of these I made executable and this one script the word the one that we're working on it's not executable right so script dot VSH okay I don't, I don't know if this is gonna work okay and then when you want to run it it's gonna be script oh it, it works you don't have to okay so you do not have to put this inside of a uh, inside of a main function okay cool all right and it said that we can um, 
everything inside of the OS package. So let's go over to the OS package, right? It's gonna be instead of having to uh, import this OS, it's gonna all this is gonna be in in uh, included, right? So let's see what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's see this get working directory, right? So we'll put uh, we'll print line get working directory, okay? And it'll show where it'll show my path, right? Okay, so it's printing out exactly where we're at on my. This is where we're at on my file system, right? Okay, then you can do something like a change deer. So change deer. See this function up here. Change deer. Change direct. Change directory. change directory and we can we can just do like a dot dot so it'll just go back in uh, just go back in my uh, directory and then we can it'll go back up one directory print line and then we'll get get working directory right okay so we'll run this again returns an option okay so when something returns an option you can just do this or you can make do this and make it panic I have a whole video on errors so if you want go check that out okay okay so you can see okay now when it went up a directory we're not inside of the v uh, VLang directory so we can we can also do like a home deer right because this is all inside of the OS package home deer so this will take me to my home directory, right? Okay, and it'll bring it it'll bring it back up to the to the home directory, right? So let's kind of do something functional here, right? So we're gonna change back to, to my home directory, right? And then we'll print out the working directory. And what we'll do is uh, let's check for all the uh, pictures in there there's a, there's a function called glob inside of here right I'm trying to figure out something to do but this is just the beginning so glob you put in a pattern here and it'll give you a spring string of everything so we're gonna look for every picture uh, I hope I don't have anything bad in here right so we'll put star dot jpg right we'll look for every picture in here and we'll print it out. We'll put it into a directory. Uh, fo photos. Okay. And then we can uh, print print this out. Photos. Okay. Let's get that going. Damn train. Return it. So this returns the option as well. This glob. So let's do that. All right. Oh, and there's only one. Uh, there's only one photo in there. Uh, that, that was something I was trying to draw here. So we'll go into my pictures directory. Directory, right? It's going to be my home dear and then slash pictures. So we have something to go for, right? Okay, so we have a bunch of we have a bunch of them here, right? And we can also we can also iterate over these. So we'll say uh, four p n photos, and we'll print line each one p. Okay. Okay, and it prints one on each line, all right? So let's say we just want to get these two, uh, two one, these two that start with we start with a B, these two barn ones, right? So if uh, P dot, I think it starts with. Let me go back into the documentation. This this documentation is great, right? So 
it's a little bit confusing here right because you have built-in functions and then there's a, a string package here right but if we go down here I'm gonna fast forward this where the string at okay yeah struct string right here right so I think there's a start with method yeah start with right so we'll say start with okay so if it so if it okay and it has a okay so if it starts with damn so much little noise going on around here I gotta, this microphone is extremely sensitive okay so everything that starts with B is going to print out. Unknown method starts with. Okay, unknown, okay, unknown method starts with. Okay, so starts with. Is, I spelled it wrong. Okay. Okay, so you can see. Alright, you see it's, it's printing out this working directory. So you can see it's, it printed out everything that starts with, uh, you know, uh, it's going to start with a B, right? And usually you're going to want to do something in the files, you know, when you when you create a shell uh, shell script, you know. So these are things that you want to do. And another, I'll just show you one more, but, you know, you kind of get the gist of this. You know, it, it, you can use this as a you know basically a shell script here you can execute commands let me let me show you that too right so let's go into the OS pack package right here uh, where's the OS all right and then you got execute execute and exit executor panic let's see what execute and exit do right so we'll, we'll try execute and exit right all right, so let's let's execute and exit. Uh, what do we want to do? Execute or exit, and then we'll do. Uh, I, I didn't think about this beforehand. Right? All right, so all right, let's uh, let's okay. What, what we're gonna do here? So we'll put a command in here that will check through each one of these files, right? For the word print line, every file in this directory. So first, we got to make sure it doesn't change to my home dear because we're not in our home dear. And uh, so let's comment this out. And then this variable is going to be in use, so we're going to comment this out, right? So here, so I already looked up this command. Okay, so grep dash r that means recursive and we're going to look for print line in each file inside of the current directory and then we're going to pipe it out to word count and we're going to count how many lines so how many times is the word print line mentioned in these files in this directory right and then we're going to print out the output uh, of that which is going to give us a number right so let's run that Okay, and we can see that eight in this directory, print line is mentioned eight times. You know, I, I practice before these videos, or I, you know, go through this before these videos. All right, so now let's replicate this command uh, in this V shell script. Right, uh, it's going to be a little longer, but you know, just give me an example of how we do. This. Okay, so let's uh, put that functionality. So we're going to put mute i to one. Okay, and four. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to make a glob. So we're gonna put files. We're gonna have to use the glob function. Glob. This is definitely gonna be longer, but you know, I kind of just wanna show you what you can do. You know, if you don't know no bash, once you learn V pretty good, you know, you can make your shell scripts like that. So we'll put uh, we'll put four. F in files. Okay, so we're gonna get each file here, right? And then we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put lines, line, yeah, lines, 
equal uh, was it read lines? I think it's read lines. Let me just go over to the uh, documentation. It's in the OS package. Where's OS? Okay. Okay, yeah, read lines right here. Read lines, reads all of them and returns the array in the string. You know, uh, returns an, so this read lines is going to turn and each line is going to uh, be on its own. It's going to it's going to return the whole file as an array. So we're going to read those lines, right? And so read all the lines of that file, right? And then we'll do another for loop, right? For uh, line in lines. Okay, uh, and if a uh, line that contains if it contains print line, okay, what we'll do is we'll do i plus equals one, and at the end we'll print this out. All right. So, so print line we could just probably do print but we'll put I there right see if we have some technical difficulties set script okay I know I was going to have some okay alright this returns an option and this returns an option okay and so we're going to call that files okay all right so there we go we have it eight times all right um what else can we do here right and a lot of people like this because uh, a lot of the reason for shell scripts and system administration scripts is doing stuff on a file system. So I'll just show you one more thing. Uh, everybody likes this function in Python that are like system administrators. They have like a uh, they have a walk function, and right out of the box you get that right. And this walk function you can do every you can do anything basically what we just did right but this will this will go down all of it'll it'll go down all of the directories right and you know we have this walk extension too returns a recursive list of files in the path okay all right so let's do that walk walk situation right there right so let's take that out and we'll put walk and we'll make it this directory dot and then we'll use an anonymous function. I think you have to put a string in there. Yeah, it has to be, if you look right there, yeah, yeah it has to be a string. So we'll put uh, F string. Okay, and then, man, so we can print line. Okay, uh, we'll put all the files out there, right? Okay, so let's let's do this uh, to my home dear, and then you'll see that it's gonna go down all. It's gonna tra traverse all the directories and give me all of the files back, right? So home dear. Okay. Yeah, and it's gonna go down every file. It's gonna go down every um every directory. It's going to print out all of the files that are there. I'm going to just stop this. All right, so you have a good idea of what to do here. We'll do, if we do something like this again, we'll do something a little more advanced. But I just wanted to, you know, let you know that you, you have this option to be right. All right, so uh, thank you for your time and attention.